Hello everyone and welcome to All Things Watched. In this video we are going to talk about the brand new movie Eileen and Eileen mainly starred Tomason McKenzie, Shea Wingham, and of course Anne Hathaway. Now there are a bunch of other great actors in here as well, but that is essentially the, these uh, those three actors are you know the main characters of the movie. Now uh, Thomason or uh, Tomason McKenzie, she portrays the main character whose name is Eileen uh, Dunlop, and she lives with her father whose name is Jim Dunlop. And Jim, of course, is portrayed by uh, Shea Wingham. Uh, or Wigaham and um, and honestly both of their performances were absolutely phenomenal and if I'm going to be honest with you all the performances in this movie were pretty pretty good I mean pretty well almost as perfect as you could get in terms of a performance uh, but I really think that to Mason McKenzie is a real big standout in this one and so was Anne Hathaway who portrays the character known as Rebecca so essentially what the movie is about is it's all about Eileen who like I just said lives with her father Jim but Eileen works at a penitentiary which seems to be an all-male penitentiary and so it seems like she's kind of like the jack of all trades there. Uh, she kind of works at a little bit of everything. Seems like sometimes she does secretary, uh, you know, duties. Sometimes it seems like she has to, you know, drive people around or drive certain inmates or, or maybe workers to certain locations. It seems like she helps out, uh, you know, with, with different tasks around the penitentiary. So I don't really know what you would say her official job title will be. Maybe a secretary or maybe some form of assistant or something like that uh, but you know she, she sort of does a little bit of everything and she really makes uh, the penitentiary function uh, you know with its everyday uh, you know daily task and, and basically the, the simple stuff it seems like she would kind of be the person that does a lot of things that doesn't really get a lot of credit if that makes sense uh, so you know she's sort of in that position in the penitentiary now her father Jim is someone who seems like he just sort of uh, sits at home all the time and you know he, he seems like he's he has a very uh, complicated relationship with Eileen and of course in the movie you sort of figure out why you figure out that Eileen actually has a sister and of course Jim you know at least uh, the impression is given that Jim was not very nice to the sister which is why Eileen and Jim have such a broken relationship I, I don't know maybe Jim you know has really done some really evil things with the sister maybe even like sexual abuse type of stuff uh, so uh, you know that's really implied in the movie so that would sort of explain why Eileen and Jim really don't have that much of a relationship even though they're you know a father and daughter and whatnot and so you know and so there's a lot of sort of awkwardness and even uh, conflict and whatnot for Eileen at her home so when she goes to work at the penitentiary that's sort of like her escape uh, you know she sort of goes to work to escape the real world so to speak and so you know it seems like she's someone who's been sort of wait, waiting for an opportunity to you know really get to know somebody or really make a good friend or just sort of have any form of opportunity really I think uh, for sort of like a social life and whatnot and this is sort of where Anne Hathaway's character comes in whose name is Rebecca and I think in the movie Rebecca was like some form of psychiatrist or she did something with psychology at the penitentiary so I th I'm pretty sure she was the person yeah I'm pretty sure she was a psychiatrist used to go in and sort of talk to the inmates and whatnot and of course because she was brand new Eileen really grows close to her and you know and of course their relationship uh, you know they started to develop a relationship uh, but I think for each of those characters for both Eileen and Rebecca I think that relationship means something very different because uh, you know as the story goes on with Eileen you sort of learn that I think Eileen is sort of growing sort of in love with Rebecca whereas Rebecca is just sort of looking for a friend now when Eileen first meets Rebecca you know they, they they start off pretty easy you know they sort of meet at work they hang out at work they sort of eat lunch with each other at work so to speak and then that sort of escalates into hanging out outside of work you know they go to a club and have some drinks and all that good stuff and then by the time you get to the very end of the movie in the third act that their uh, relationship really escalates to the point where there is some real sinister consequences literally life and death uh, of another character so to speak uh, and, and this and basically uh, you know that friendship you know sort of makes both of their lives spiral out of control 
And so Anna Anne Hathaway does a phenom phenomenal job at her performance at portraying that character of Rebecca of being sort of an, a love interest for Eileen. And of course, and then of course, Tamason does a great job, uh, or Th Thomason or Tamason does a great job with her portrayal as Eileen as well as sort of being that almost like a fan girl, uh, sort of falling head over heels for uh, you know Rebecca because she loves everything about Rebecca, the way she lives her life. Rebecca is sort of this rebellious character where Eileen is this very proper, you know, on schedule, on time, very, uh, sort of very professional, even though uh, technically Rebecca's profession is probably, you know, more professional than Eileen. So there's a little bit of irony involved with that as well. Uh, so like I said, in terms of watching their character, uh, watching the character development and watching that friendship grow was really fun really uh, and really interesting on the screen to see that happen and really see uh, the conflict that Eileen has at home combined with the conflicts that she sort of has just on a personal level and then sort of how Rebecca comes in and sort of replaces both of those conflicts and sort of becomes almost like a, an escape more so than what work was because essentially work is sort of her escape but then Rebecca sort of becomes her escape so it was really cool seeing that dynamic and I like I said I, I have to say the performances in this movie were absolutely phenomenal now the biggest problem that I have with this movie was the runtime this is not really overly all that long it's probably only like an hour and 38 minutes long but I did find that there were times when I was like checking my my watch you, you know I felt like you could really feel the time and I do think that 10 every bit of 10 maybe even 15 minutes could have been shaved off of this movie uh, for stuff that I felt like really wasn't all that necessary and so by the time you get to the third act and you know you really get to some of the drama and even uh, violence and you know the, the, the real suspenseful parts of the movie I felt like by the time you get there it's just too late and I no longer really cared because it just took so long to get to that point that I feel like it was um I felt like it just really dragged on, and so I would have liked to see the relationship between Eileen and Rebecca. I would have liked to see that spiral out of control a little bit more than what we did, because it seemed like, you know, Rebecca sort of comes out of nowhere, and then they're hanging out, and then Rebecca sort of disappears, and then reappears, and then all of a sudden you have this final conflict, which to me sort of went from zero to a hundred i feel like there should have been a little bit more development or, or it would have been cool to have more scenes showing the rebellious side of rebecca and then showing that rebellious side of rebecca sort of turning eileen into this rebellious side and so i just felt like it was kind of rushed the third act but beyond that i did think the performances were great but i did think the third act was very rushed and then i felt like the rest of the movie was very slow so i guess you could say i felt that the movie was sort of inconsistent with its pacing uh you know the first two acts were very slow and then the third act was really good but it was almost too fast so because of this it really took me out of the movie and honestly I still enjoyed the movie more than what I didn't but I would not be able to give this movie uh, overly a high rating just because it, it, the pacing issues and I just felt like it took too long uh, it took too long to get to really interesting parts uh, and really get to the suspense and the drama uh, while the, the first parts of the movie just dragged on too long. And so for me, I'd probably give this movie like a 55% because I did still like it more than what I didn't, but I just felt that the pacing was too inconsistent. And I, I just wish that we had have gotten more of Eileen and Rebecca, and I wish we had have seen more of that relationship spiraling out of control but with that said that's my review for Eileen so let me know in the comment section below if you've seen it and if you liked it tell me why or why not if you like this video click that subscribe button and all that good stuff and until the next one take care